438. Calculate the molality of each of the following solutions, and then we have letter A. So in this case, we have 583 grams of H2SO4 in 1.50 kilograms of water, the acid solution used in an automobile battery. Cool. But in this case, we just have to find the molality. Now, there's molarity, which is used all throughout chemistry, and generally speaking, there's only one chapter that you're going to use molality. So, there's only one formula. Let's post it up. The molality formula is this one. Maybe I'll just put it up here. Molality equals moles of the solute divided by the kilograms of the solvent. But they didn't tell me specifically out of these two, the H2SO4 and the water, which one is the solute and which one is the solvent. But you could think of it as like a numbers game. You can count the letters and equate them to numbers. Solute has six letters in it. Solvent has seven. The smaller amount, the solute, will always be placed into the larger liquid um, amount, right? Generally, a solvent is going to be your liquid medium. And together, they will make a solution. Yay. <laughs> so, which one of these is the solute? Well, use the wording. The solute is always placed in the solvent. The H2SO4 was in the water. So by that, the H2SO4 was dropped into the water. The H2SO4 has to be the solute, and the water, which is H2O, has to be the solvent. So now we know what we're doing with both of them. For the solute, that's the 583 grams of the H2SO4, we need to find the moles. So maybe we'll do that first, right? How do we go from a gram amount to a mole amount of the same substance? Ah, back to the beginning of chemistry, right? Grams of A going to moles of A just means that you're going from grams of one thing to moles of the same substance. Grams to moles, you're always dividing by the molar mass. So let's find out what that molar mass is of H2SO4. You got two hydrogens. So two times 1.008 on my periodic table, that's in front of me, uh, plus one sulfur. Sulfur is exactly, actually no, it's 32.06 on mine. And then I got four oxygens, so four times 16. So let's see, two times 1.008 plus 32.06 plus four times 16, 98 something? Ah, 98.076. So we're going to take the 583 and divide it by the 98.076. Beautiful. Long decimal, but I'll just put, you know, a couple of numbers in here. 5.944. Four? That's fine. 5.944. Okay, moles is checked. Now, kilograms of the solvent. That means that, oh, well, they already gave me kilograms. 1.50 kilograms of the water. We have that. That was fun. So we can go right to the molality. So let's go for it. Molality, just know, is like a little scripted M. Generally, it's like italics on a slant. Um, but let's see what we got. So we got 5.944. They already gave me the kilograms. Thank you very much. So I'm just going to take my number up here, divide it by 1.50. And that is the molality. So uh, technically three sig figs. So 3.96. And you could just leave it as that, that little M. I love writing that, that M, even though it's not up to my standards <laughs> of prettiness. But anyway, I think that's just a, my, my own personal problem. Okay. <laughs> What'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Check in the links, uh, the, the description link below. Uh, we got tons of goodies for you. 
or that's free, that can help you. Uh, maybe there's a study guide. I don't know. But um, maybe, you know, some things that you could share with your friends, your classmates to help you guys out in this class. We really want to help you succeed. And that's why we're doing these problems so that you guys have an opportunity to learn at your own pace uh, with, you know, myself and my brother. And we're here every step of the way for you. Um, you know, every video, it's, it's all from us. So thank you so much uh, for being part of this journey. Thank you for being part of the community. And I hope you're well out there. Keep studying hard. Always keep learning. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.